you're making me sad. Uh huh. Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of Token Games Podcast, where everyone remembers to set their phones to silent and or vibrate, and their windows are down. I'm your host and friendly neighborhood, Zach Pearson, and today I'm joined by the man, the myth, the sick but never f- quits fighting legend, Pika Datmitsu. Well, I kind of quit fighting because I called into work, but I need to rest, so. And just like that, you've destroyed the few cool points I got for you. Our returning character, uh, Dreadat Mayfield. Avengers! Assemble. (laughs) And of course, the one, the only woman who needs no introduction... But mainly because she's had so many fucking names she wanted me to call her. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to use this time. So why don't you go ahead and tell us what the hell you want us to call you on the podcast. Uh, See? Okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> constipation. Yeah, call her Constipation. Who got fucking Rickroll? Will you pick a name, please? Stop trying to fucking be a dick. You need a name. Oh my god. I fucking hate you. Uh, we don't have time. Stop the bullshit. What do we call you? Ginger unit. Asshole. Okay, ginger unit. Um, Or G uh-huh. unit for short. Alright, for those of you who don't remember, our first and really technically only female cohort was two people. It was the one Tara Sita and of course Miss G Unit right here. But of course she went by a different name. One involved tacos, one involved vampires. I don't keep track of these things. She's very inconsistent and also likes to harass me. It's almost as if it's woven into her DNA. Anyways. Alright. So today a lot of shit happened. But before we get into all that other shit that happened, we're gonna get into the fun stuff. And by fun stuff, I mean we're going to do something we haven't done in a long time because there wasn't DLC for it. Marvel vs. Capcom Infinita has new DLC outfits out. And we're going to tell you how we feel about them, not because you want us to, but because we're bored, it's Friday, and we don't give a fuck. I tried finding one, but they were all out at the store. Black Friday killed them. Alright. Now, let me load these bitches up. And, okay, here's how this is going to work. Dre, you're going to actually switch seats with me. But here's what you're going to do. You see all these tabs up here? All these? These are all the outfits. You're just going to take them like that. Or you're just going to take the link, copy, paste them into the chat. And for the record, this is the order that we were going to shit on these outfits or praise them on. Pika, obviously. Uh, G Unit, Mayfield, then me. And if you're wondering why I'm going to be last, it's because I remember to bring popcorn this time, and I'm gonna go put it in the microwave. So have at it, Pika. All right. So this is the first one. Let's take a look here. Okay. This almost immediately reminds me of that old show on Fox. What the fuck? This nah, almost reminds me. Of that old show on uh, Fox Kids and back in the 90s, uh, Big Bad Beetleborgs. <laughs> like yes. Back to this. Yes, it does. And it's like, oh my goodness. And then you got that like kind of little floating castle in the background, which almost looks like, like that haunted house where the show mainly took place in. So yeah, these guys might be doing like a kind of hidden throwback reference to Big Bad Beetleborgs. Yeah, and that's pretty nice. Yeah. Okay, uh, Miss G Unit. Yeah, I don't got much. He just pretty much said everything Mm, I was gonna say. He beat me to it. Yeah, it's a very, very boring. Yes, it's rocket rocket. It's a very boring outfit. Okay, Mayfield, how you feel? Can I go home? Yeah, so you can see it. Shit. (sighs) Now, it's the bottom left one, rocket rocket. Who's the first one? Uh, not impressed. Oh well. Okay. Uh, I'm going to piggyback on what all of you said, and I'm just going to add one thing. 
Meh. Hashtag meh. Moving on. All right, I'm going to load up the next one on Dre's phone because I realize this is faster now. You guys can all hear me, right? Yeah, yeah. Also, don't do what you said. You should be to my Wi-Fi. No, I don't have Wi-Fi now. No, I need to press it. Okay. What Ray is, is on the wi- my Wi-Fi. Which one is the next one? The next one should be Gamora. Double click it. Alright, now hit the URL. Right click the URL. Copy. Drop it like it's hot. Get at it, Pika. One second. It's still um, coming up here in the chat. And I think this person may not have pressed enter because it says you're typing, but it has not come up. Well, uh, what do you... Oh, hit enter, bro. Damn. All right, now... I asked that. All right, let's pop this up. And... Ooh, me likey. Um... This is almost kind of has like a, if Raven nailed Beast Boy, and wow. then she absorbs some of his color into her. Wow. That, that's kind of like what I imagine this would be right now. How'd she absorb the color, Pika Mitsu? Tell us. Oh, she got all that color from all that DNA he busts inside. Like, at the last moment when he was doing her, it's like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna nut. And then he just transforms his dick into, like, a big fat gorilla dick. It just, bah! Just all that just goes in. Big fat gorilla dick. Wow. And the popcorn in it. Wow. I don't know if anyone can follow that up. Good luck, G-Unit. That's you, only female here. Uh, I don't really got much. It just looks like the old style Gamora from Guardians of the Galaxy with her little thong. Well, you that that's you know we're not looking for long drawn out essays on the shit. That being said, you wanna you know go into detail. You know more about these characters to some extent than we do. What do you mean old outfit? Have you guys not seen Gamora's old outfit? No. Nope. Seriously? Yes. Seriously. Okay. Long story short, she was pretty much wearing the exact same thing, except it was more revealing. But it looks very similar in detail, minus the fact that she actually had no corset part of the skin. It was just straps covering her boobs. Hmm. Yes. These kind of things are real babies, but it's a good problem. But it looks very similar to the old style. <laughs> Less corsetti, but yeah, yeah. I mean, she doesn't wear clothes really, which makes me wonder why the fuck is an alien not wearing clothes? I don't know, but you just Isn't gave me thought about. Um, it just gave me thought about a new saying. Just to say, if I want a woman to less wear less clothes, a uh, less corsetti, more spaghetti. What? The- yeah. What? Wow. That, how is that not a porn movie already? Yes, spaghetti. Spaghetti. Uh, not, not what I mean. One sec, I'll... I like spaghetti. No one's sitting. That's not the problem. I don't know why. How come you don't like spaghetti? Oh my god! Get back. Go, go, we fun. Go, we fun. Yeah, who I was talking to. Yeah. All right, Dre. How do okay. you feel about that outfit? Other than the fact that she's getting strip club. I feel what um Pika Mitsu said. But it's more like Raven, Jade, and Beast Boy had a threesome. And just wow. said, hey, the hell with it. Let's make things happen. Nice. So, um, I'm really liking it. I have no problem with it. I kind of have a question, though. Why don't Gamora have katanas instead of... Because no. she, you, you didn't play the game, so there's a lot of shit you don't know, and you really should at this point, since you don't have to spend money to play it. That being said, you should see what she dropped in the chat. 
everyone should see what she just dropped in the chat. Oh, I saw it. Oh. Well, no, just click the gray area. Long story short, Gamora used to actually wield a claymore in the original comics. It was later she transitioned into katanas. Whoa. Awesome. Yeah, like that's obviously meant to be a smut character, but I'll say this: she transitioned into the modern age well. Don't get me wrong. Like I'm well aware that some of these characters had one job when they were created. However, you know, going away from that and proving you can still use them and be creative is that's a sign of good writing. Why does she look like she's from Ragnarok? And she was because her original plane, her original plane was very Ragnarok style. She looked like she came out of that movie Full Metal. Never seen that, that. too. Oh yeah, you, it's it's hard to explain that movie. Really. It really no, is. it's cool. It's cool. I'll figure it out later. No, I mean like even if you watch it, you won't understand it. Like, I don't. I still don't understand it to some degree. <coughs> Anyways, moving on. Oh, yes. I believe the next one. Don't look over. All right, next one. image. Let's see here. I'm pulling it up now. Same as last time. I already did it. I already did it. Oh. What do you see, Scarab. Scarab beetles, anybody? Scarab. Scarab. Yellow, yellow, yellow and black. It's like, you want to take that one motherfucker from Transformers, like the really useless one, and then make him look like something useful, Wait, and put like a use? Super Sentai-like symbol on the front of his face. Damn it, will you use names? Just, uh... I, cause I forgot, like, the useless fucker's name from Transformers, because he's useless. He, but he drove, like, a yellow and black car. Well, he was a yellow and black that's car. What I'm that's what I'm talking about. Bumblebee? Bumblebee. Yeah, yeah. Bumblebee, Bumblebee, okay. Well, so, yeah. Well, apparently him. he's getting his own movie, by the way. With John Cena. Okay, I didn't even know John Cena was in it. Like, what the fuck is happening? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, those are, those are my thoughts. Uh, Duracell batteries. Moving on. <laughs> Alright, G-Unit. Uh, Is this one of the classic outfits or something? Are you still there? I think we may have heard her last digital moan as she fell off to the wayside. Or can you hear me? Heard from again. Yeah, now we can, can you hear me. Yeah, now what yeah. did you say about the outfit? It's nothing I technically have seen. However, it does look. It looks. I don't know what character it looks like, but it does have a similarity to one of the Guardians of the Galaxy. I just don't remember the name. Nova. Yeah, there you go. Wait, did somebody just leave and come back in the chat? I went not have my data plan because I'm on my phone and I have to go get my kid or she's going to have a freak out. Yeah. MOVE YOUR CAR! Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, pinball games. Car driving is fucking <laughs> I'm about to grab my crowbar. This deer hunter is about to learn a lesson. <clears throat> um, uh, gun beats crowbar, so just use the car. Car doesn't, car beats gun. Oh, I'm about to kill someone. I just got stopped again. Why? What are you doing? Is it idiot day? No, it's fucking moron day. What the fuck do you have a small dog for? Why are you stopped in the middle of the goddamn road? <laughs> I think the dog did that. Dude, like, it is so fun listening to her get mad at shit. You have no idea. And, and anyways, uh, other, other thoughts on the outfit? Oh, yeah, uh, Dre, go ahead on uh, uh, Nova. Um, I like it. It kind of reminds me of... What was that one show on the uh, Fox Kids Network? The one you just mentioned earlier and forgot already? No, Mass Rider. Mass Rider. Good show. Good show. Oh, man, you like that. And, um, oh, it also reminds me of um, Power Rangers Lost Galaxy. The, um. Shitty scene. It was okay. No. The, um, what, what was that? Ranger? The sixth one? I forgot what it was called. The one who wears like a black armored outfit. Yeah. 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 No one cares to do his lost galaxy. But it, it kind of reminds me of him. That's and 
Power Ranger Zeo, the Gold Ranger. Okay, yeah, that, so that. that's better. That's better because that's not the shitty stuff. All right, now, I'm going to just come out and say what everybody's been thinking. It looks like someone said, you know what, let's take Brainiac's logo and then let's put it on a blast a, a fucking Beetleborg Power Ranger Beautiful Joe thing. Like, this dude looks so generic, I almost didn't even think this was a DLC outfit. I thought it was a recolor for like the first time I looked at it. I'm disappointed because they're not trying with Nova. I can understand they might not have a lot of material, but here's the thing. There are other Novas. Just swap him with a different person. Fuck. It's not the first time. Hmm. I'm on the yoga pants. Move your ass. Get across oh, the street. Take your triple ass oh. across the street. Okay, next. <laughs> Dude, I told you, like, it's gonna hurt me mad at shit. Makes up Next for day. any bad shit she says about me. Like it. Wait, Kira, where are you driving around at right now? Uh, Bay City. Get my kid from school. Usually, oh. Bay City doesn't have too bad of traffic. Oh, today has uh, idiots are out and they are bound to make my life hell. Midland Street always has bad traffic. Uh, um, oh. yeah. Well. Plus plus I don't know why that dude was trying to take that little dog to the little groomer shop, but that dog looked nice and groomed. I don't know why he had a little fucking pink bow on it. I don't know. But he took up both lanes. He's annoying. Okay, alright. Next image. And. Oh, look, I captured a shiny Mega Man. Ha! Ah, ah, ha! I love this outfit, but fuck you. That was steel for me. Yeah, that, that's all I have to say about that. The, the suit looks nice and crisp and everything, but. He's just a shiny Mega Man. Scale of 1 to 10, bitch. I'll give it a solid 7. Ironically, the worst game in the series. Alright, G-Unit. Mega Man. Oh, wait, no, you're driving. Yeah, I don't want you to crash, so we're going to skip you till you're not driving. Go ahead, Mayfield. I have my phone on the side. I don't have it up to my face. I know. I'm saying looking at the damn screen while you're driving. Bad idea. Uh, you said the one skin I already had pre-saw. It's the Mega Man one, right? Okay, yeah. you hit me. I swear I'm going to get out of here and beat your old ass the crowbar. <laughs> you can't beat old people up. Yeah, yeah, she you want to bet? Dude, don't, don't challenge her on that. You, you haven't been here long enough. Don't challenge her on that. You still ain't told you about Val Morris. Shit. We'll get into that asshole or something. It's on me. When anyway. somebody is not watching where they're going and almost hits me, yeah, I will bring out my crowbar in the back. Yeah, well, she's, while she's busy threatening people, you go ahead and take her turn, Nate. Oh. Jeez, why is this. This design kind of reminds me of Spider Man. Did not see that coming. I mean. If you look at the torso, I mean, just look at the whole armor. It just almost looks like. Look at the bigger image. Look. There is no bigger image. Full screen. I mean, it almost looks like a radioactive spider wanted to get inside of Mega Man. And this. It, yeah. Got like halfway there and before it fried itself. So I'm not I'm not dissing it. I like it, but seems they could have done something better. His legs are just too small. I'm sorry. All right. Well, his thighs. Well, his okay. thighs. Well, Love. all right. My turn. Bit of backstory on this one. This is what I can only call one of the greatest April Fools ever, which I don't normally say about a DLC outfit that's a real thing. All right, here's a short version. There was a character who was supposed to be used in Mega Man X2. It was an evil version of X, but due to time constraints and literal data limits, he got cut. So, he became just a leftover design concept, right? Then on April Fools, Captain got the bright idea to say, hey, guess what? We're making Mega Man X9. Here's what X is going to look like. And fuck with people. And then they immediately erased and got rid of the page. But everybody fucking liked it. 
So this company that makes models called True Force asked Capcom, hey, can we make a fucking toy out of this concept? And we all know how much Capcom likes scoring, I'm sorry, I mean franchising out their characters to get more money because, you know, they're Capcom. That's how they're getting their money off of most of their characters by not putting them in fucking games. Damn, I wish that was a joke. Anyways, so, yeah. Then, after this, I pestered the living fuck out of Marvel vs. Capcom, Marvel Studios, Capcom, and that shill, what's his name? Peter Rose's Combo Fiend, and anybody else I could think of on Twitter, please make this his DLC outfit. And they did it. I'm not saying I'm responsible, but I'm saying I at least contributed. Uh, if this outfit was a woman, I want to fuck it and marry it 10 out of 10 and have little Tron Mega Man babies. All right, next up, zero. But I'm pretty sure second verse, same as the first. Yep, waiting for the image. So, uh, uh, Cara, are you in a safe place yet? Physically? Yeah, I'm, I'm at the school. I'm at the school. I'm good. I'm good. Okay, well, since you didn't mm -hmm. go last time, uh, you're going to go now, first. You're looking at the red robot. I'm pulling it up. I'm pretty sure she knows who is. I don't know her taste. I know she likes RPGs for pissing me off. Okay. Congratulations. You wanna, you know, finish that thought? <coughs> On sec, I'm flipping off the lady next to me. Oh. We have a hateful, a very hateful relationship going on right now. Intense. Oh, no, that looks like Mega Man Zero. Yeah, it's regular Zero, but it's his DLC outfit for Marvel. What are your feelings on it? No, I meant Mega Man in general, the franchise, Zero. Oh. But I like it. I like it, kind of. I mean, yeah. Oh, there's the hair, yeah. Yeah, I like it. They actually got rid of the fucking green boobies. I find that. I'm I'm impressed. They found a way to keep the green nipple things without them looking like nipple things. You go. Okay, I'll be back. Have fun. One second. You go, DLC people. All right, Pika. Yes. Okay. So basically, this looks like zero if he absorbed Ken Masters. This is what I imagine it would look like. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. That's a very unique answer. Yes. And it's look very sharp though. Very sharp. Yeah, the one that's in. Eight. Would you fuck it? I ain't into dudes. It dude robot. I'm sorry, you don't stick your dick into anything with gears. Well, okay, that's well, that's actually good advice. Remember that. Hashtag no dick here. Mm -hmm. All right, Mayfield, how you feel? I feel good about this. This makes me want to try Zero out and see what he's actually capable of. Yeah, yeah, I bet he does. All right, moving on before he realizes what he did. Now, this actually isn't a part of the original thing. Because that design didn't include a zero version. This is basically a mock up. So, a lot of us think when uh, True Force decides to make a zero, because they announced that they're going to make one at a convention, because, well, they go to conventions and I asked them, they said, yeah, it's coming. I think this is what it's going to look like. And I'm happy with it. I just want to know when do I get my black zero version? And is he going to have the pimp purple lights going through that body? Oh, man, if it was a woman, the things my penis would do to it. All right, next image. 10 out of 10 would do. All right, click. And... Uh, okay, so this is an outfit for Strider. This outfit, just to explain shit, is the second character that's playable in Strider 2. He is Strider Ian, or Strider Hien. The difference between him and Strider is a very, very sim simple one, but very, very devastating. He is a long-range boomerang Strider. 
He can throw the fucking blade and it will come back to him like damn near Captain America shield. However, uh, instead of bouncing off something, it's just going to cut it to death at mm -hmm. a very, very high speed. So you mm -hmm. want to think of him as Strider if he would throw his sword, which is a scary thought when you think about it. All right. So yeah, continue your thought. Okay. So my, <clears throat> my, my immediate thought was, this is how Strider would look. If he got flown over to the U.S. and he some get, somehow got adopted into the KKK. Wow. That's, that's yeah. an impressive thought. That's an impressive thought right there. I don't know how to feel about that one. I don't know either. Yeah, and all three of us are black, so that's really... Yeah. yeah. I don't know what to say to that one. I mean, I'm a Creole, but still, KKK don't give a fuck. Uh... You busy, G Unit, or are you getting in on this one? Well, I'm going five miles an hour in traffic, so I'm fine. So, do you want to comment or no? I think he said it all. I mean, it, it, yeah. All right, man. Yeah. I'm gonna get five more. Fuck you guys. <clears throat> I go this way. It seems plain. Just seems plain to me. Oh, sweet Dittenberg. We could have done so much. We could have done so much stuff with the uh, detail, but. Thank you. Yeah, it's just too plain to me. It's like, uh, it's, let, let, let's just give Strider this. We already put him in the game for you all. What more do you want? A new game. A real new game. And make it play like fucking Devil May Cry. So I take it you didn't like Strider, Sashmon. I didn't hate it, but it's not what I wanted. I'm glad we got a new Strider game. But you still weren't impressed. No, because they didn't try. They literally did. Hey, let's put Strider in a Mega Man format. That's what it was. It's all the fucking was. Except instead of selecting the bosses, you just got one world map you got to unlock. Well, I'll give this Strider outfit a uh, 6 out of 10. If anything, it was basically Mega Man Zero with Strider. All right. Now, for me. Yeah. Come on down to Marvel vs. Capcom Infinix has bargain bin ninja costume emporium and warehouse. If you want it, we got it. As long as it's made in China, it costs less than ten ninety nine with shipping and handling. This is the most. Oh boring. come on, that's not even China price. That's wish list. This damn. Thanks for the assist. But that aside, this outfit is so boring that I can call off four ninjas off the top of my head. I know that we're ninety percent of the same shit. I can call off four fucking ninjas off the top of my dome. I already know one of them. Fucking Joe. I can go Sasha. grab a white curtain and wrap it around me and have a better outfit than him. You you really should not do that. You might get mistaken for being in an organization you don't want to be, just for the record. Oh yeah, the the, the part Native American person is yeah, yeah, uh huh. Mm hmm This is gonna work just dandy and or, fine. Or What's a, that called? Uh, Choga party. Scalpings. 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 I don't want to be invited to a choga party. That's how people get pregnant. Not if you protect yourself. With a crowbar. With that. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> uh, that awkward little whatever that was just now. Moving on. Shinobi. Yeah, basically. Oh, uh, Joe Hayabusa, Ryu yes. Hayabusa's dad. Yeah. Like, seriously, um, like, you can, I can call out four names off the top of my head. <laughs> Alright, next image. And I get the feeling. Everyone's going to use my hashtag of meh when y'all see this. Mm -hmm. yep. Also, I'm going first. Hashtag meh. That's my comment for the shit. Like, fuck wait, 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 wait for it. All right. Uh, put the old uh, people uh, out today. Uh, I think you posted the wrong one. You posted the very first one again. God damn it, Zach. Stop being old. I'm already surrounded for crap's sake. Motherfucker, I'm not even on the computer. Fuck you. Uh, I'm fucked up. Nope. Oh, check it again, because 
It should be. Um, did you remember to hit enter this time? Yeah, I did. Um, no, no, he posted an image in there, but the thing is, he went seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, if you look at the very end of the links, it has a number on it. If you go backwards, it you're at seven, six, five, four, three. That hot ass image, two, and then seven again. So I think he skipped one. Hey, look, look. Go up to the actual image. Right click the image itself. No, just right click. Uh, copy image address. Now put that in the Discord. All right, we're fixing his mistake. And it is. And boom goes the dynamite, Pika. All right, right I'm saying. This one was the very first one that we did. No, like, it's go not. scroll up. No, listen, listen. We loaded that in, but we didn't talk about it. No, that no. This was the big bad Beowulf image. No. Uh, Holy shit! They look that similar that he can hit fucking tell. Oh my wait, god! Wait, 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 wait. So we never talked about Rocky Raccoon then. We did not talk about Rock Raccoon, no. Oh, no, we did. You saw the different image. That's what's going on. Okay. We were talking about Rocket Raccoon. I guess since we didn't say his name, nobody re realized it. But you saw Ultron. We all saw Rocket Raccoon. So you haven't seen Ultron. So you've seen Ultron, but you haven't seen Rocket Raccoon. Right. Okay, well... Okay. Well... Uh, that's kind of funny. I don't know how the fuck that even happened. Uh, but, uh, okay, uh, go ahead and talk about the boringness of Ultron if you feel like it, uh, G-Unit. Again. Not amused. Not amused. Not amused. Not amused. Not amused. I, I don't like it. It's this is the Ultron image, right? Yeah, it's fucking boring as shit to me. Yeah, it kind of is about as amusing as a uh, what the fuck? Uh, Paula Deen. That's how amusing it is. I mean, everything's butter. Yeah, great. Tastes great. Looks okay, but you know what? It's fucking boring. Wow. Wow. I mean, they could add more butter to it, and it would probably look a little better. Wow. Or bacon. No. no. Bacon would probably make Olive it better. Olive only than adds butter to everything. But she should add bacon. No, 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 she shouldn't. No, butter is better unless you're lactose intolerant. Butter. Anyways. Anyways. Is lactose free butter. Mm. All right, make yes. It. Country crock? Crock is like it's hot. <laughs> uh. I don't really know what to say about Ultron. Hashtag meh. Hashtag meh. Thank you. That's My it. turn. Hashtag meh. I am disappointed that they want to charge $3 for that goddamn worthless outfit. They could have got the Tony Stark naked woman thing. That would have been funny. Long story. Long, long story. I have no idea what that is. So I was like, okay. Well, if you ever type in Iron Man stuck as a woman or some shit. Anyways, yeah. Uh, Scroll through. Should, <laughs> should I go to um, Rocket Raccoon or not? Nah. Oh, Jesus Christ. Just click it. What is it? <sighs> oh. Oh, that's actually, that's one of the more interesting ones. Yeah, load that up. <laughs> I don't know. I feel a certain way about that one. I don't know about Get ready, this one, man. Oh, All right, waiting for the next damage to come in. Lord have mercy. I think all people have their license plates removed and their driver's license revoked. And okay, when did that... What? Okay, when did that Assassin's Creed motherfucker get fat as fuck and then choke on dick until he turned blue? Damn. He's purple, but damn. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, oh, he just wow. went into it. And that was just instinct for him. 
That's the scary part. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it's like, oh, Jesus Christ. I, you you would have to Chuck pay Monkey, me. hit my car and I'll beat the fuck out of you. That sounds like something he would say, actually. Yeah, actually, it would. Yeah. Damn, but yeah, that's my, that's my thought on it. How come that car has a vagina painted on it? You know what? You probably shouldn't be saying that when you get in the car. Oh. Her ears are plugged. She can hardly hear me. Oh, Maybe sorry. a little. Hey, Lily! You like tacos? Yeah! There we go. I'm going to be proving my voice. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't hide the fact that my child knows these words. You've got to educate your children so they're not growing up special in the future. Like, Let's face it. What's that girl? Uh, the Paris one Hilton. who's all Paris Hilton, Kim Kardashian, Justin cash me, Bieber. No, cash me outside. How about that? No, no, I'm not having that happen to my child. Mm-mm. Or anything on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. All right, how you feel about the outfit, G Unit? I've seen it. One sec. That all makes more sense. Yeah, that really does look like the assassin dude sucked the blue. Hi! It's purple! I did... Look, it's me. He has to stare at me, man. Good job, Kara. Good job. Is that blue? No, damn. That's supposed to be Thanos. Why do we have Amazon packages at our house? What did I do? What did I do to get Amazon? What did I do? Amazon. Oh no. Bro. You picked them up. Okay, long story short, it seriously looks like, uh, yeah, he probably sucked a, a blue TV and, uh, had a lot of, uh, blue okay, okay, waffle. Okay, and then decided to shove down some blue hush, berries hush, on yeah. top of the Do y'all really thing. not know that that motherfucker is purple and not blue? Really it sounds like that. they need to learn their colors a little better because, uh, is Thanos this? isn't blue, is he's purple. Blue. Don't look like no purple. Oh, that's oh, it's a blue purple. That's why. That's what the fuck the problem is. I don't give a shit if it's blue purple. It seriously looks. I don't got words for this. Why a loin cloth? Like seriously. Just say. What are you trying to prove? Exios, Thanos, Exios, Exios. I don't care. It's still ugly. Okay. What about you, Mayfield? I swear on everything I love, Marvel Studios need to make a gaming studio and try to just have some kind of licensing on everything that's gaming. Because Capcom, they're dropping the ball once again. I mean, it's not hard for them. I mean, your hands are greasy. I mean, jeez. Compare this Thanos to the one that we saw in that damn trailer. <laughs> Way better than this one. Way better. I'm sorry, but this one looks like he's about to go to a party and show everybody what's under that cloth. Wow. Wow. Just wow. I mean, I would wait till Lily's like at least a sleeper in a room or something. Is this Avatar? Is this what this is? Is this this Avatar? Go play on your tablet. Jeez. No. None your business. Three out of ten. Really? I'm giving that three out of ten. Jeez. No. Well, in my honest opinion, which I can't really give because y'all done did like 99.9% of it, so I'm going to just say this. The motherfucker looks like he got into a fight with Mr. Clean, but on his home planet of Titan, and Mr. Clean won. Like, I don't even understand how his boots function. Like, did he, did he just somehow find a pair of boots that perfectly conformed to his calves? I thought they stopped doing shit like that back in, like, the uh, early 80s with their character designs. I know he's Thanos. I know this is before he becomes an evil, psychopathic, murdering fuckboy for death. But here's the thing. That don't even look like it should be Thanos. Like, if I saw that character design, and I didn't know who Thanos and I, but I knew who Thanos was, 
I wouldn't know that this was a Thanos DLC. We're going to call this one the Blue Ball Drop. I would have called it the Blue Man Group. There's only one of them. Yeah, except with Herpes Edition, because his face looks fucked. Wow. I'm not even oh, shit. Boop, 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 boop. Um, we're sorry to bring you this quick interruption, but in drunken news, it appears that Applebee's is now doing a month-long special where Long Island iced teas are only $1. Oh. Yeah, that's not worth it. How the fuck was that pop culture news, nigga? This is for drunken people news. People who like to get drunk all day, every day. A.K.A. my brother about six years ago. But it's uh, it's an interesting deal. Apparently these are being served in 10-ounce cups. And uh, this seems interesting. I Even can't. though I don't drink. But yeah, it's a dollar. You can't really beat that. And it's all month. Anyways, continue. I mean, you just derailed shit. Thanks for that. All right, next thing, Mitchell, is that it? No, there's more. I'm kind of like this one, though. I know this. Oh, yeah. Oh, well. I say kind of. I, I, I'm not because its okay. original price was $40, but yeah, go ahead and drop it in. $40. For oh, one outfit. There better be titties in this. Um, I, There you know, are no titties on this. I'm down for this, titties. Where's the titties? This this dude looks like an action figure straight up. Number one. Why not? Because uh, because of, of that, like not only like the eight pack there, but like that flat crotch area when like you don't want to be anatomically correct for like ninety nine point nine 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 repeating percent of dolls <laughs> made nowadays. You just have that little flat area in the crotch. That's exactly what that looks like. And then, number two, this motherfucker just has, like, those aren't even spider legs coming out of his back. Like, I don't even know what to call those damn things. Son of a bitch. Home phone. Uh, yeah, fucker looks ugly. Call them son of a bitches. Alright, G-Unit. What do you feel about this originally $40 outfit? <laughs> I saw this and I almost fucking cried. It looks like he's wearing spandex to tuck his ass in. It's so bad. Like, it's just, I'm wearing, I don't really have these muscles, so I'm gonna put styrofoam under here. Yeah, bitches believe in this shit. Yeah, this works, but I'm actually wearing spandex to tuck my shit in. Because I got a small winky and it pokes out too far. That's the kind of shit it looks like. It, those aren't spider legs. It looks like he's about to give a pap smear to somebody. Seriously. Oh, damn. No one Google what that is. Are you open? You will be. You know, I feel like. Somebody with a small dick came up to her and tried to stick some game, and that's what she said to me. No. I'm almost yeah. Put some think, spandex I, on to make it look like I have a piece. Great idea. Or she said, what am I supposed to do with this? She she feels like the type of woman that would say that. She feels like that. Yeah. Well, no one's going to talk that for the rest of the week. Anyways. All right. So. Again, a little bit of backstory about this one. When Spider-Man came the fuck out, Homecoming, the you know the, the good one that Zack Snyder didn't get his grubby little bullshit hands on. But I fucking hate Zack Snyder. He always fucks up superhero movies. Anyways, they only wanted this outfit to come out with the promotional code purchase of a Blu-ray or digital HD version of Spider-Man Homecoming. So that meant that, at a minimum, to get this outfit, you was basically paying between 30 and $40 just to get this outfit, making it the most expensive piece of DLC Capcom has ever made that's an individual item. That's I like the way. outfit from a distance, but fuck Capcom for trying to get $30 for me for this shit. 
How do you like the outfit? It looks like he's wearing like those waist huggers that look, women wear. It's a Seriously. It's a reference to a really, really cool and scary version of Spider-Man that was in the comics for a couple years. The biggest yeah, I'm aware, but he didn't look like he was wearing a waist hugger. Let me finish, goddammit. My biggest problem with it, though, is that the legs don't retract or they didn't cut them off. That's what throws the outfit off and makes it look all funky. But if you subtract those legs or the legs only came out when he did a special attack, it would look cool. <laughs> I just noticed that one of the legs is poking through his legs. It's on the spider legs, so it looks like he's got a dog dick. I don't want to know how you do <laughs> Sorry. No, you're not sorry. Yeah, that don't work. <laughs> yeah. No, but look! Either she, what the? either she really doesn't like Spider-Man, or she just likes dogs. Anyway. <laughs> or she Red just... Rocket, Red Rocket. No, no. Red Rocket, Red Rocket. Red no, stop that. No. Zach, go pet Spider-Man. He needs some love. What? What did you just say? Mm. Motherfucker, don't be quiet. What did you just say? I'm too busy laughing. Sorry. No, 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 no. Somebody heard what she said. What did she just say? And now I hear a dog in the background. Oh my god. It's a dog! No. Nah. Nah, you, you said some shit. And man. rock it! Look, stop. We don't need no more South Park references. People might Google that shit. So it's like 10 people that listen to this shit. Anyways. Alright. What's the next image? Well, I hear Red Rocket. I think of Deadpool. Yeah, no. No, that's not what it goes to. No, when you think of Red Rocket, you think of Red Robin. Young. Red Robin. Yeah. Who is this? Oh my god, we're not even gonna go there with you. You should know who that is. I don't know who this is. Do you know who he's dressed as? Beautiful Joe? Yeah. Oh, no, man. Oh, oh, I got it now. No, no, okay, no. Okay, Im image somebody. Yeah, it's coming. I think. Oh my god, no. No, no. <laughs> no. No. Damn. Okay, Frank West really let himself go here. Wow. Yeah. That's nice to hear about it. It's it's like he want he took the zero outfit and then combined it with a red Koopa Troopa and just put them <laughs> together. And then he couldn't get the right materials, so he had to use like some of that poofy cloth on a lot of it. So it doesn't really offer much protection. It's just fluffy. And he, he just... Wow, almost looking like a rip-off Judge Dredd with those helmets on, man. Just... Ugh. Damn. Not, not, not cool, man. I, I get that on toys and put on little Tron or whatever helmets and Servbot helmets and all that other shit, but this is just taking a little bit too far in the toy department. That, that just... Eh. And if you look real close at the foot he's kicking up, at the bottom of his shoe, that imprint on his boot almost looks like a Reaper from the Mass Effect series. The imprint would kind of reminds me of um, Gears of War. All right, G Unit, how you feel? I think we couldn't tell. It looks like I gotta figure out how to say this in the nicest oh, shit, way that's possible. A bad sign. We all know what those raver girls look like, right? Mm-hmm. No. They look, yeah, they do. They, they're, they're basically dressed to go to the beach, but then they have leg warmers. Okay, let, let me just explain this one out so you guys can hear it. It looks like a raver girl is actually a raver guy, but trying to wear the raver girl clothes, which I personally have no problem with. However, it looks like instead of wearing a bikini, they decided to wear a diaper. And then they decided to put the Judge Dread helmet on because they thought it was hip and edgy, but in all honesty, they just look like they came out of, like, some fetish bar. 
That's the best yeah. way I can state it because he looks like he's wearing a diaper underneath that. You can see the diaper rim. Damn. Adult panties, man. Frank West got bit by one too many zombies and now he can't control his bells. That is a Damn. terrible image. It is. Because first off, where did they bite him for him to not be able to control his dogs? You know what? I'm not going to think about this anymore. Dre, go ahead and let us know how you feel. I hate it. I'm, I'm got really nothing not else impressed. to say? I'm really not Come impressed. On. Not impressed at all. Okay. Alright, so basically, uh, as a Mega Man fan, everyone notices, and we all know about the relationship and the Easter eggs between the Frank West series of Dead Rising and the Mega Man X franchise. From super combos or just references to material or certain enemies or things from other games in Mega Man x or Mega Man Legends showing up in Dead Rising. This is the only one that somehow feels like an insult. Mainly because, do you know how many people wanted fucking Proto Man in these games? People have been asking for Proto Man since 19 fucking 97 or 96. You know how many we got him in? Goose egg. I don't know, but it looks like he's wearing a pair of Uggs. Does that count? Stop making it worse. I hate you. You can hate me all day. That's a but Yeah. Um, also, take a look at what I posted. I believe this may be one of the things you may have had to go through. But this person wasn't as fortunate to actually live through it. I am really, really scared to click that. I'm sure it, I'm sure G Unit's going to do it, but I'm really scared to click that. Moving on to the next image. It, it's end game footage. Nothing bad happens. This is you we're talking about, so we both know that's a lie. It's in-game footage. It's not the point. He didn't say it was something good, so, so it's something bad. Just quick the damn thing. Nah, nah, nah. It's 30, 30 seconds. Go get G-Unit to do it. Can she even do it? I don't know. Bottom line is, Pika, look at the next image. Go. I'm out of popcorn. You got more over here. Yeah, but I'm not greedy. Okay, this is if Hagar actually took his mayoral job seriously. Now, so you think this kind of sounds like a joke. No, this is what would happen if Mike Hagar actually took his mayoral job seriously. Like motherfuckers got on some nice pants, nice jean pants, nice shirt. Roids. This little green tie, like uh, like he would be going onto a construction job, but he's sitting in that his little trailer, like being the boss of the construction job, like like that kind of position. Like like he's ready to do some work, but he's ready to go out and like do some heavy labor if need be. But he'll be like behind the desk doing the paperwork. Like this is this is the more serious, like business serious, Mike Hagar. G unit. Roids. Roids. You know, if you're going to do that, you still need to speak up. It looks like the typical, like, blue collar worker. I don't know what to really say about it. It's kind of meh. Kind of meh. Hey, girl. Bye. You watch that video? Yeah. What do you think? That's awesome. Yeah, you See, know. I told you. Zach's not watch the thing. You realize that the fact that you two working together is how I know there is no God, right? It's 30 Queen. seconds. No. Live Queen. reaction. You two are up to something. No. I'll don't I almost don't, rather you don't be make me call you out. Tits. Don't I'll, make me call you out on this. I don't think they're Zach, up to anything. You're being paranoid, man. Just chill out. No, paranoia implies that I'm worried about something. I I, I just am not good at it because I don't trust y'all like that. Anyways. It, uh, don't 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 make me say the B word, man. Don't make me say the B word. Do I know what the B word is? Yes, you do. Don't make me say it. Well, type it. I, I'm not sure I know what the B word is. Type it first. 
Oh no, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna say it. B, not B. Oh, what? what? No, I'm confused. Yeah, me too. Uh, you're being a little bitch. Really? Oh, click the link. That's what you're referring oh. to. Yeah. Okay, we'll I'm calling you a little bitch. I'll tell you what, I'll be a little bitch today. All right, back on this outfit. This one has possibly the most mundane and boring little bit of history slash backstory ever. This is the outfit that he wears in the beginning of pretty much everything he's in before he goes into combat when he became the mayor. So this really shouldn't even be a DLC outfit. This is normal fucking clothes. In the purest sense of the word, normal fucking clothes. This is the definition of hashtag meh. Just because it's my Kagar doesn't magically mean it's okay. Alright, what's the next one? Is that it? I think that's it. Oh no! The last one. Okay, now I want the last one. Oh right. my well, goodness. At least this time we're ending on a good note. Unlike the last time we went through the DLC outfits. Mm hmm. Have fun, Pico. Uh, let's do it a few seconds here. Before it comes up. Uh oh. Uh oh. And. What did you do? Nothing. Oh, like okay. Uh -oh. Okay. Oh, now, oh, wow. um. It's me. It's me. Yeah. Shit. Is. Is that. Damn it. Um. Jedi. I'm blanking on his name right now. Jedi. Yeah, okay. Alright. He almost looks like, uh, a devil triggered, uh, Virgil from Devil May Cry in a way. The outfit looks very, very devilish. Uh, black, black and blue, dark blue, mixes very well, gold trims, uh, the nice little scythe-like wings. Um... I gotta say, I, I can't really say anything bad about this besides, like, the maybe Japanese Shield H helmet that he's got going on on the top. But even that looks a bit sharp, so I will give this a solid 9. That's a very good design. Alright, G-Unit. I like it. I don't have a rating scale because my rating scale is just weird, but I like, like it. I, mean, I like things like that. I mean, it looks evil. I like evil yeah, looking things. Yeah, I can't you totally help it. I love things like that. Did I mention he's a vampire? Oh, oh. But then again, no. you already knew that. Aww. He's after my heart. Yay. Oh, I know why. I know why she's in the vampires. Because vampires know how to suck. He eats hearts. Yes. He's after your heart. He's gonna eat it. Okay. All right, Mayfield. Since she's decided to call it, out. like out of the gaming things that I have played, it kind of looks like a really cool Varus almost, and I really like Varus right now. So I really like, it. and it kind of looks like that. I like it, except more metal version of him. Don't know where I'm getting this reference from, but maybe it's because I played too much League. Yeah, and I've not band. played. I've not. Lull. I have not played Lull. I've played a little bit of uh, Heroes of the Storm. That's I about it. Banned. Why did you get banned? You don't want to know. Yeah, actually, did you, I did. Did, you, did you get Toxic in the chat? If Toxic's telling somebody to stop saying racial slurs, yeah. Um, If you're telling someone to stop saying racial slurs, that's not well, it turned it into a fight. That's the whole thing. It turned it, and we all got reported for it. So, because it turned into a hey, let's see how far this can really. When I asked him if he circle jerks with his mom, it became toxic. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah, that just. Ooh, man. It, but the thing is, you can't really have a circle jerk with like unless there's like at least three people. Both of you. Well, he was talking about his siblings and stuff, so I asked if they all. Okay, yeah. Well. Yeah. Sitting there, yeah. her mom and stuff, because apparently his mom taught him all this stuff. It was just bad, and I got. Ooh, that's lovely. Oh. All right, you guys go ahead for a few. I gotta take a quick restroom break. I mean, we're we're in the whole trip. But... Yeah. Uh... Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, fuck. Oh, here. Ah, fuck. oh my goodness. I think he fell out of bed or something. Probably. But 
man, I am so glad they brought Raiden from Metal Gear Rising into this. Uh, it's not Raiden. No, it looks like Raiden. Yeah. <laughs> it absolutely looks like Raiden from Metal Gear Rising. I mean, it's not, it's not bad. It's not bad, but that's what Jedi reminds me of. But Raiden from Metal Gear Rising. All he needs is that fox blade and it's, it's good to go. But yeah, I'll give it a solid nine. I like it. Interesting. So, uh, yeah, apparently Capcom couldn't get Sifroth as a guest character, so they did the next best thing. That's all I got because Jetta doesn't have a DLC outfit. This is the first time he's even had something even remotely close to what could be considered an alternate costume. Because, you know, he's not Morgan. A smut character who makes too much money for them. So, I fucking like it. He looks like he goes to a playset with uh, the Mega Man, uh, uh, the X and the Zero DLC. And also Iron Man, uh, his DLC. They all look like they could be a, a, a playset of toys for children. Alright, see if there's anything left to close it out. No, I believe that's it. All right, so um, yes, yeah, that's it. So, uh, anybody want to summarize how they felt about this shit, real quick? Some were okay, some were not really okay, some were okay, and then some were really just what the hell. I mean, you just had to be described life. Yeah, yeah. Well, that whole thing pretty much described life. Alright, Pika, you got any final summaries on these outfits? Oh, these guys. Oh, that's right, yeah, he's gone. Uh, Mayfield, you got any, uh, small summaries on how you feel about these outfits? Uh, well, at least I don't have to pay 40 bucks for a Spider-Man outfit. And... Capcom was halfway decent with these DLC. But it's 2017. They should do a whole lot better. But once again, this is Capcom. So I guess E for effort, but not really. Pikamitsu? What's going on? Uh, your final thoughts on this DLC? Um, they have a few nice pieces, but all oh, they need to. I really that Capcom could get a lot of um, what's the word I'm looking for here? A lot of respect. I know it's a word that they haven't heard a lot lately recently, but a lot of respect from the community. If they held basically like a drawing, you know, like given out to the public, like, hey, you know, draw up some DLC, you know, for your favorite character. And we'll take one that we like the best from, no, actually, fuck that. We'll put it to a voting poll on the public. Like, we'll take submissions, we'll put them on a page. Best one for each character gets put into, you know, a DLC pack for the public by the public, you know. Something like that, you know, to give the fans, you know, what they would really want. I think that would be really nice. Yeah, but we don't live in that uh, world. Yeah, it's unfortunate. But as far as these are concerned, a good amount of them look nice, but for the majority, it's eh. Mayfield? They could do better. They could do better. Mayfield? How you feel? I already said it. Oh, um, yeah. So I guess that just leaves G me. G-Unit. Oh. No, no, no. Yeah, easy. All right. Well, in my case, it's very, very simple. I hate, I hate living in places where I can go. I told you so, and shit legitimately still gets fucked up. However, you know, if I had to just rate this shit, because it's, it feels like even though there's less work put in in some of these outfits in the previous DLC pack. 
they still did a bang up job for the most part. So I'm gonna give them a benefit of the doubt, seven out of ten. Now, all that being said, I guess we'll go into the last little bit. Uh, all right, Disney has finally confirmed that hey Fox, we about to get up in that ass. You gonna come? Pull our pants down and do all the work, or we're gonna come after your Fantastic Four and your mutants. What's it gonna be, Tom? Scenario. So I'm curious. Y'all basically got the equivalent of a hostile takeover potentially happening. Who do you think? Not, I won't say stands to benefit, it's obviously good. But do you think Fox will finally give up the rights, or do you think that Disney is wasting their time with negotiations? Why or why not? G unit, and then Pika, and then Mayfield, and then me. Hey, taco person, you still there? Maybe. Oh my fucking god! I will pay you to stop saying that. Hmm. Hey, the force be with you. Do you know what the question we asked is? I zoned out. What was it? Of course you would. Disney has admitted that they actually are going back to trying to flat out buy the movie portion of Fox or 21st Century Fox so they can get the Fantastic Four and the mutants back. Do you think that Fox is going to give that ass up? Or do you think that Disney's going to have to take it from them? Why or why not? Oh, Fox will eventually give it up. They always do. Kind of like Kim Kardashian gives it up to everything with money. Hey. Wow. Alright, Pika, how you feel? Um, I kind of have the same thing. It's like, if you want someone to give up something popular and they know it's popular, they're going to ask a heavy price. You know, I just wish, like, in my perfect little world, there was one little, like, line in a contract or something that Disney could exploit just to, like, like pull the rights right out from under Fox and not have to pay a damn thing. But that's just wishing in a perfect world. But I know they're going to have to fork over a lot of money for it. But just for the future of the movies, I really think that they should. I really do. Okay. So we heard G Unit. We heard uh, Pika. So that leaves you, right, Mayfield? Mm hmm. Go ahead. There shouldn't be a negotiation between Disney and Fox. Because. <laughs> As much research as I've done on this, and as much, as much research as Disney has done on this, Disney knows good damn well Fox has been dropping the ball with these movies. A.K.A. hurting the brain. That's well, a short name for it. Well, hurting the brain. Or snidering. Or, or that too, of these mutants... Mutant mut movies and mutants, um, TV shows and, well, I can't say TV shows just yet. But as far as Fantastic Four is concerned, they dropped the ball on that franchise. Three times. Three times in a row. Last time I checked, three strikes. And you might as well be out. So with that being said, Disney is just going to take it. Actually, they're going to force it. And they're not going to use Hulu. Sure, surely not. Basically, what's more likely going to happen is they're going to give an offer to Fox. If they don't take the offer, well, Disney has every right whatsoever to just go ahead and just take it from them. Because that's how we all checked. Disney was a way bigger empire than Fox. Oh, it's not just that. Disney has so many strings it could pull 
on so many different networks. It's just insane what Disney can do. When when they want something, they get something. It's the end of the story. It's sad. Yeah, it was kind of sad when they took Marvel, but then look how it turned out. No, I was referring to the company itself. I'm not saying the capabilities and what the products they can release. That's a completely different story. They are good at that. They they can they're good at that. But business business ethics is a different story. True. But more of this, Disney's just going to take it from Fox, and there's nothing that Fox can do about it. They actually brought it to themselves to actually think that oh. We can make millions and millions of dollars from these two franchises. Why haven't you done that then? Where's my cup? So that's it for me. Come on, Zach. Bring it home. Bring it home, Zach. I would like to do my infamous Mickey Mouse raping fox uh lines again but I don't remember what all I said because that was kind of a spur of the moment thing but also beside that uh repeat performances yeah I'm gonna just say this what that mouse won't that mouse gonna get and that mouse want two big old handfuls full of some big ass voluptuous mutants in the left hand and something fantastic in the right and if all they got to do is go through Fox, then the only thing Fox can do is try to get more money from Pimp Daddy and pray, pray Pimp Daddy ain't about to take the rings off to give you the backhand. Because at this point, it's a matter of do we want to buy a useless company like Fox to get the Marvel characters? Or more specifically, 21st Century. Because a lot of people don't realize. Fox, 21st Century Fox, are separate entities. Which I was actually surprised by. So they can actually buy 21st Century, which has the licensing and the rights. Without having to worry about owning Fox. Which is debatably a terrible decision. So, I'm just waiting for them illogical buttons on them shorts to hit the ground so he can pick up his big old front tail off the ground and just tell Fox you got two choices suck or blow I want to see Fox squirm I want to see them lose money I want to see them lose shareholders until they're basically forced to give up the ass to the mouse. Now, with that being said, this has been another exciting episode of Token Games Podcast. I will see you guys when I see you guys.